Doctor Who, The Invasion, Episode 4 Freight Wagon Alarms blaring. Packer and his guards look into the wagon, then close the door and move on. The Doctor and Jamie come out of their hiding places. Doctor, Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, Doctor, I think. Doctor, shh. Jamie, but Doctor. Doctor, I think the guards are still out there. Doctor, Jamie. Doctor, keep your voice down. Jamie, the thing in there, it moves in the crate. There's something alive in there. Doctor, alive, Jamie. The darkness plays funny tricks with the imagination. Jamie, look, it moved, I tell you. Doctor, are you sure? Jamie, positive. Doctor, all right, let's have a closer look. God, you two, over here. Get those two girls over the, over the main, over the main administration building, move. Jamie, Zoe and Isabel. Doctor, wait, we'll follow in a few moments. Vaughan's office. Packer, the whole compound's under alert, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan and? Packer, well, uh, Vaughan, you haven't yet, fa- you haven't yet found them. Packer, well, it's only a matter of time. Vaughan, is it? I doubt it, Packer. This doctor is far too clever a fish for you to net. Packer, well, if you let me take care of them properly in the first place, obey the orders of our allies, you might. Well, Vaughan, orders, Miss me, Packer? I told you, I told you. I give you orders, not take them. Packer, you told them that? Vaughan, the invasion's under my control. And when our purpose has been achieved, I shall still be in control. Packer, you can't fight them. Vaughan Packer, why do you think I kept the old fool Watkins alive? Packer, well, to work on his machine, of course. Vaughan, and why did you think I wanted to do that? Packer, well, I don't know. Vaughan, our allies appear to find a, a, a Professor machine, so much disturbing, so much, in fact. And when they saw the prototype, they ordered it, us to destroy it, and all some machines. Packer, you mean they're frightened of it? Vaughan, the teaching power of the machine doesn't, doesn't worry them. But when I generated some motion pulses, convinced Packer that the motion could be used to destroy them. Packer, that is only a guess. Vaughan, a gamble, Packer. A reasonable gamble. And after we are playing, we are playing this game for very high stakes, are we not? Packer, well, I think you're taking too big a chance. Vaughan, do you wish to be totally converted? Would you prefer to be one of them, completely inhuman? Packer, oh no, but Vaughan, that's what will happen if they take over. We will cease to be human, so we must use their force and their might, and then discard them. Packer, are you sure that this machine could do it? Vaughan, even if we fail, we could escape a doctor. You must secure this spacecraft for the Viz. Packer, oh yeah, I see insurance. But we're all exactly, Packer. Two young ladies have arrived, I hope. Packer, yes sir, they were under guard. Vaughan, good. Packer, they have been taken over to the main administration building now, sir. Vaughan, now it's safely tucked away. We'll flush out our clever doctor. Outside the building, the doctor and Jamie watched two crates being taken to the building. One well, piece of feather boa sticking out. Becca, take them inside. Central block, tenth floor. The sound of helicopters nearby. Jemmy could could be the Pegadies lot. Call them for call, call them up for help. Doesn't know not yet. We're not. We've got to rescue the girls first. Tenth floor, central block. Come on, helicopter Turner. There's a lot of unusual activity, sir. Guards everywhere. Looks like some sort of emergency, Brigadier. Any sign of the doctor, the boy? Tell him no, sir. None at all. Brigadier, right, Jimmy. Get out of the area and stand by. Turn her. Right, sir. Will do. Airplane, Brigadier. All units, please. Sergeant, Walters, yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Brigadier, this is the Brigadier. All units, stand by. Put full penetration. A wreck sector immediate. Victor Vaughan's office. Vaughan, a helicopter? 
Packer, yes, sir. And two of the, uh, of the outer perimeter guard posts, you've probably seen strangers in the air outside, sir. For all I see, Packer, I think the doctors with the u- unit organization. Well, what are we going to do? Vaughn, nothing. Packer, nothing but they. Vaughn, they can't harm us, Packer. We're in control, or at least I am. Leave this to me. Outside the admin building, Jamie and the doctor sneak around, fighting guards until they see a building with a big A on it. Stop. Jamie, what's that? Doctor, I think that's a central block. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, John? Jamie? Jamie, how do we find out which room they're in? And when we, and when we have, how do we get them out? Doctor, stop looking for problems, Jamie. Let's get along up there, shall we? The announcement comes over to the compound to analyze. For all, Doctor, if you can hear me, listen. You have ten minutes, Doctor. Ten minutes to relinquish your freedom. At the end of that time, your young friends are your paid consequences. Are your foolish and totally pointless and opposition. Ten minutes, Doctor. Ten minutes. Jamie, there's not much time. Doctor, there's just about enough time. There's just about enough... About time enough to effect a simple rescue operation. Come on, Jimmy. Doctor, Jimmy, simple. Doctor, yes, come along. Room, Isabel is hammering on the lock door. Isabel, oh, let us out of here, you stupid oh, oh, idiotic. Oh, why have they brought us here? Sorry, I suppose because I ruined that stupid computer of theirs. Well, I'm sorry. Isabel, but why kidnap us? Why did they just turn over? Uh, just turn us over to the police or something. So I don't know. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Isabel, we c- can't get out of this way. Look, it's a sheer drop. Hey, Zoe, look. Zoe, look. Zoe, Doctor, Jamie, fire escape. Zoe, we're up here. Doctor, me. Doctor, it's, uh, it's them. Look, Doctor, good. As long as they don't give the game away too soon. Doctor Jess is the girl to keep quiet and they move and move back. Room, Isabel, it's, it looked as they're trying to tell us something. Zoe, the doctor wants to keep uh, us to keep away from the window for some reason. Isabel, I wonder why. Zoe, well, I'm not sure. So he spots the surveillance camera. Zoe, just try and act as though nothing's happened. Don't look now, but we're being spied on. Airplane, Brigadier, yes, Doctor, come in, Doctor. Brigadier, I think we can, we shall require a little assistance. A few moments. Brigadier, why? Are you in trouble? Doctor, no, but we should need some help, need help. You have a helicopter in the area? Brigadier, yes. Doctor, I wonder, have you used a rope ladder on board? Brigadier, yes, I'm pretty sure they have. Where are you? Doctor, we're just going to the roof of the main building. That is in the central block of the north side. They should give you a helicopter cover should there be any ground fire. Have you got that? Brigadier, yes, I have got that. Over and out. Vaughan's office. Packer, all right. Keep looking. Find them. Guards leave. Packer, I've got the whole place covered, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan, don't worry, Packer. They don't, uh, they don't risk any harm. Coming to their little friends, Doctor. You have your five minutes. You do you have five minutes, five minutes. Packer, they won't give themselves up. They, they, they'd be mad to. Vaughan goes to the window and looks at a helicopter crossing the compound boundary. Vaughan, not bad, Packer. Merely human. Packer, it's the same one, the same helicopter. Vaughan, yes, perhaps they do mean to save their own skins. But after all, probably the helicopter trying to pick them up. Stop them, shoot it down if necessary. Paggy, yes, sir, he rushes out. Rooftop, the Jamie and the Doctor reach the top of the fire escape. Helicopter maneuvers over them and drops the rope ladder. Jamie grabs it. Jamie, you're not going to leave the lassies by themselves, are you? Doctor, no, of course not. Help me to get them, this one, over the side of it there. They drop the rest of the ladder down the building, across the window to Zoe and Isabel's prison. Doctor, right, down you go, Jamie. Jamie, huh? Jamie goes down. At one point, the downdraft makes him lose his grip, but he recovers. Room, Isabel, something that must be going on. Zoe, it's a helicopter. Hey, look, it's Jamie. Isabel, oh yeah. Zoe, give me a hand with this. We have a barricade, we have to barricade the door. Isabel, oh yeah. Girl, ja, girls, jam a chair under the door handle. Zoe, keep the guards out. 
Quick, bring me the filing cabinet. Push. Says about, oh, sorry, Packer. You'll never get through that. So Jamie's careful. Zoe, careful, Jamie, be careful. Jamie climbs in through the window, holding the end of the ladder. Jamie, right now, quick, up we go. Isabel, oh, you don't think we're going up on that, do you? Jamie, do you want to be left here with Vaughan and Packer? Now go on, get going, get on, oh, come on. Go on now, watch yourself, easy. So he climbs out of the window and starts up the ladder. Jamie, hang up on the ladder tightly. Whatever you do, don't let it go. And don't look up. Look, don't look down either. Right, Isabel. Follow you, know you. Jamie follows the miniscope girls up the ladder. Outside the admin building, Packer guards follow me. The girls are safely on the roof. Packer, this is, there he is, fire. Guards over fire with alternating weapons. Jamie reaches the roof. Roof top. Doctor, well done, Jamie. Outside the admin building, Packer, get up there, stop them. Rooftop, Isabel, oh, thank goodness that's over. Doctor, I'm afraid it isn't quite yet, Isabel. Isabel, oh no, one, one at a time he start up the ladder to the helicopter. Outside the admin building, Packer, come on, get up there after them, quickly. So he gets on board and Isabel's following as the doctor dodges at the shrapnel with a bullet hitting the edge of the building. Then he climbs the ladder, helicopter, doctor, come on, Jamie, hurry up. Girls have reached the rooftop. A clear shot of Jamie. Jamie, get it, Doctor, get us out of here. Hold on, Jamie. The helicopter gains altitude. Jamie hangs up on, on to a ladder and then climbs aboard. Airplane, gunfires, heard over the RT. Bring it here, Jimmy. What's happening, Jimmy? Do you want to go around support to turn her? Hello, sir. No mission, no mission accomplished. Oh, I'm on my way back now. Brigadier, plenty. No casualties? Returner, no, sir. We're all well. Unfortunately, Vaughan jet boots couldn't shoot a flying elephant. Over and out. Brigadier, all units, please, Sergeant. Walters, yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Brigadier, all unit groups. Red alert cancelled, I said again. Red alert cancelled. Return the base. Vaughan's office. Pack up. That helicopter was one of the unit force group, I told you. Vaughan, don't panic, Packer. You blundered again, but fortunately, it didn't really matter. Packer, matter? There bound to be an official reaction, Vaughan, but there'll be no official reaction. There will be, there will be no official reaction. I told you, we're in command. Packer, but Vaughan, don't argue, Packer. Just do as you're told, man, and Vaughan once. Do it right. Packer, yes, sir. Vaughan, now I want Professor Watkins' celebration machine. Don't even into my car. We're going to go, going back to London. Packer, back to London, sir. We can't go back. Vaughan, due to the, your clumsiness, Parker, we must now alter our plans. I tend to bring the invasion forward. We have 24 four hours to prepare for it. Packer, 24 hours? I never could agree to it. The invasion forces aren't anywhere near complete, sir. Though on there be significant of our intermediate purpose of the evasion, or will they no longer have no need for secrecy? Now you can attend to the professor and uh, deal with your un- our unit friends. Bring what comes up here to see when they're ready. Packer, yes, sir. Packer leaves. Vaughan goes to his into- uh, goes intercom. Vaughan, get me the Minister of Defence. Stick- switch it through to my v- vigil circuit. Secretary and on command and Good morning, Mi- Minister of Defence. Can I help you? Vaughan, yes. Get me. Ah, uh, good morning. Major General Rudge, please. Turkey on monitor. Just one moment. Who is calling, please? Vaughan. Tobias Vaughan. Rutley's office. Rutledge is already on the telephone. Rutledge, fine, sir. Fine. We meet this evening for dinner. Then. What? Oh, what about eight? Yes. The club. Good. Fine. Goodbye, sir. Rutledge puts down the handset and switches to line two. Rutledge, yes, secretary. Outside call for you, sir. Rutledge, fill in a male female. Secretary, it's a Mr. Tobias Vaughan, sir. Rutledge Vaughan? Secretary, yes, sir. Shall I put him through? Rutledge Vaughan? Yes, yes, yes. Secretary, do one moment. Rutledge, operator? Secretary, yes, sir. Rutledge, first priority scramble. Secretary, yes, sir. Vaughan face appears on the dial. Could no, where the dog would normally be in a, an 
on a telephone set, thrown on monitor, bridge, ah, oh, Redridge. Can you be, can we be overheard, Rutledge? Oh, no, no. Proudly scrambles in operation. Vaughan on monitor. Good. Now listen. Your friends in unit ropes have been causing trouble. They might be, they must be stopped. Understood? Understand? Rutledge. Ah, oh, I understand. Vaughan on monitor. But there must be no more interference. Rutledge, don't know. I'll deal with it. Vaughan on no monitor. Good fellow. Knew I could rely on you. Submission ends. Well, this I understand. Airplane Brigadier, you're oh, lucky, dead lucky, Jamie. We, he said that it would be a simple rescue mission. Simple? He well, but what about my uncle? They will, they still got my, him prisoner. Brigadier, don't worry, Miss Watkins. As soon as we return to base, I gotta raise hell and get some action. Jamie, you think they'll listen to you now? To, Brigadier, no, not even Tobias Vaughan can do, could go as far as trying and shooting down one of my helicopters. Isabel, oh, I wish I had my camera. I could have got a fortune for those pictures. Turner, yes, it was a pity. They would have clenched it as far as the ministry, the ministry were concerned, sir. Brigadier, yeah, don't worry, Jimmy. Well, Bill Rodridge, mate, we'll have to take some action now. Tell me, Doctor. Hey, Doctor, what's, what's the matter, Doctor? Hmm, Jimmy, the object on the other side of the moon. Brigadier, yeah, other side of the... Zoe, yes, the TARDIS went wrong, you see. We had a sort, we had a, a sort of, well, a, a false landing. Doctor, doctor mm, yeah. Zoe, and then they fired a missile at us. Directly who? Zoe, well, wherever it was, was who was on that spaceship on the other side of the moon. But here, spaceships on the other side of the moon. Doctor, and there was a deep space trans, radio transmitter, I wonder. But yeah. Uh, Turner, look, sir, I know this sound might sound ridiculous, but could those people's sightings, those who put inside the UFO, have anything to do with that? Jimmy, UFOs? What's that? Those are identified, identified flying objects, flying saucers. Turner, they don't, they weren't these weren't the saucers. All the scientists were quite clear of that. Dada, I did anyone by any chance pho- a photograph any of these objects? Fairly, yes. We got several in the files. Shall I? I can. I can get them. T- turn right. Doctor, identify flying objects. Laboratory. Laboratory. Watkins. What was the What was the shooting party going? What was the shooting party going on? If If you've harmed Isabel, what went on? Yeah, she's perfectly safe, Professor Watkins. Yeah, may I bring the. the why am I being taken back to London? What's all the, the, about my niece? What happened to Isabel? Vaughan, tell me. I tell you, she's perfectly safe. Watkins, well, I want to see her. Vaughan, so you shall when you have finished working on your machine. Do I do as I ask and she'll both go free. Watkins, you don't even expect me to believe you. You don't expect me to believe you, do you? Watkins, Vaughan, well... A very little choice. Now going back to London, uh, there you work on your machine with my specifications. Have you have twenty four hours to complete? Only if you have if you haven't finished any work by the time, why would your cause cause call, cause to worry about your niece? Roll leaves, Packer. Get get everything you need. Watkins, everything. Packer, come on then, move. Airplane. Two secret. Uh, photographs are scattered over the top map table. Brigadier, really? mean anything to you, Doctor? Doctor, possibly. How long ago were these objects first sighted? Brigadier, really? reports have been drifting in as far, well, for over a week, year now. We sent a, a, a fighter plane to investigate, but nothing ever came of it. Turn out the other thing about those sightings is that they usually appear, seem to disappear between over, over, South East England. Is well, that is what where the, the, all the factories and laboratories of all are. Doctor Jamie, when you were hiding in the vehicle crate, you were say something moved. Jamie, I it was wrapped in the gold stuff. Do, Doctor, did you recognise it at all? Jamie, no. Doctor Zoe, what do you think it is? Do, what it was, Doctor Zoe? I don't know. We've got to find out. And let, We've got to find, find out quickly. 
they are. Uh, Doctor, well, obviously they could bring these things wherever they are up the factory into country to main the premises. We're going to find the answer. They mean, they mean to go back to Vaughan's place. But really, I don't think that's wise, Doctor. You've been lucky so far, Dr. Jamie. I, I think I'm going back there ins- inside there. Doctor Jamie, we had to find that. Well, inside those crates. But here, yeah, have you got a map? Including the London boundaries. But yeah, yes, sir. I, I think, I think. Doctor, well, obviously, you would bring things wherever they are up for the factory to country to London premises. That's where we're going to find the answer. Do you mean to go back to Vaughan's place? But well, yeah, I don't think that's wise, Doctor. You've been lucky so far. Tell me, I, if you think I'm going back inside there, Doctor. Tell me you had to find what's inside this crate, Spaghetti. You've got a map including primitive premises. But yes, sir. Yes, yes, I think. So, what, Sergeant Walters? Walters, yes. Sir? Bring it here. May we, we have a map number eight, please? Walters, yes, sir. Turn it. I got it, sir. Bring it here. Thank you. Here we are. Now, this is where the whole area in detail. London offices, warehouse, and surrounding buildings. <coughs> Doctor, I, yes, I see. Tell me, but Doctor, you can't go back the same way again. You've been waiting for us this time. Doctor, oh my word. How very fortunate. Really, anything I can, I can do to help. Doctor, Brigadier, you don't by any chance know we're going to find a canoe, 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 canal. The Doctor and Jamie paddle a rigid canoe down the rem- Rangent's canal leading under a bridge. Jamie, are you sure this is how we get in? Doctor, yes. Now come on. Roar the canoe by the towpath. Doctor, go on, I'm holding it steady. The Doctor and Jamie walk over some steps along the narrow alleys, avoiding armed guards. Warehouse, the Doctor and Jamie see two men in protective suits and a white collar scientist with one of with one of the crates leaning against the wall, against the wall open. Doctor Jamie, I'm afraid I was right. Jamie, uh, a whirly device is switched on. It starts throbbing. A man attaches two cables to the wrapped objects and the scientist turns dials. A second sound starts up and a thing inside the fabric moves. A cloth is suddenly ripped apart. They reveal a Cyberman.